this video is about the veins of the tongue. Another really easy subject to understand, but just to get your head around. So quickly I'm just going to draw out the veins of the tongue as they appear, and then we'll label them together. So I'm going to work my way away from the internal jugular vein, which is a really large vessel that you can see on the left there. It drains the head, and so draining into it first is the lingual vein. Draining into the lingual vein is then the dorsal lingual vein, which run alongside the lingual artery, but we'll draw them in later so we can get our head around that. The deep lingual veins, which start at the apex of the tongue and run posteriorly beside the lingual frenulum, and these empty into the lingual vein, which then consequently drains into the internal jugular vein. However, sometimes, for example, the sublingual vein may just drain straight into the internal jugular vein without first joining with the lingual vein. I've also just labelled what's called the vena comitans of hypoglossal nerve, also called the renine vein. Vena comitans just means accompanying, something that accompanies. So the vein which accompanies the hypoglossal nerve. It's formed by the union of the deep lingual vein with the sublingual vein. It then accompanies the hypoglossal nerve and drains it. It runs back between the myelohyoid and hyoglossus muscles with the hypoglossal nerve to reach its destination. It then either joins with the lingual vein to enter the internal jugular vein or it can just simply enter the internal jugular vein. Or it can join the facial vein to then drain into the internal jugular vein. Things like veins are very variable and it depends on the person. So what I've drawn is what you'd usually expect. It's also kind of based on Moore's clinically orientated anatomy, which is a good textbook to use. Here I've also quickly drawn in the hyoglossus muscle to show the veins that go over and under it, so the dashed or the straight lines. I've also quickly drawn in the tongue, so you can see that as well, and the hypoglossal nerve, which the vena comitans runs alongside. So now I'm just going to draw in the arteries so that you can kind of have an idea of how these vessels run together, because it's sometimes important to visualise that as well. So I've just drawn the external carotid artery. And I'm just drawing the lingual artery. So it runs alongside the lingual vein. And running alongside your dorsal lingual vein, you've got your dorsal lingual arteries. So that's quite easy to understand. And then running up beside your deep lingual veins are going to be your deep lingual arteries. Also fairly easy to grasp. So, a fairly horrendous drawing, I'm really sorry, but what I'm showing here is the inside of the mouth, if you were to open your mouth wide, and at the back is a uvula, which you can see if you look in the mirror at the back of your mouth. And so I'm going to draw the tongue as if you were folding it backwards, so as if you were lifting the tongue to the back of your mouth. It doesn't look very like it, but just, just use your imagination. Um, so what you can see there is the frenulum, which is the bit that holds the tongue to the floor of your mouth so that you'd see that if you lifted your tongue up and what I'm trying to show here is that if you do do this and you go away and you look in a mirror you can actually see your deep lingual veins one on either side running ne right next to your frenulum on the tongue if you want to administer drugs they sometimes use the the mouth and they will inject a drug or dissolve a drug under the tongue because it will go right into the deep lingual vein and right into the system. It's a fast way of doing it and it can take under a minute. It's your fact of the day. I hope this video has been useful for you and please do go and try some of the quizzes to see how much you've learned.